Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at um, having lists that have a custom formatting for the items. So the goal of this tutorial is we want to start with a list of um, objects in an array and we want to be able to create a list view that represents each of those objects in some kind of custom way. So the objects could, for example, be um, emails or they could be books with titles of books or products in some kind of online shop or anything like that. So um, I've got a Hello World application set up here and let's start with um, some kind of list of objects that we want to represent visually in a list. So uh, I'll create um, some kind of object here. Let's take as um, an example, let's, uh, let's take like a list of emails and just to keep this simple I'll just have the um, I'll just have the sender of the email and the title of the message and I'll display those in a list. So I'll create a message class that can represent messages for a start. And let's, uh, let's go to this main here, we don't need that. And I'll give it a private string sender field and a private string title field. So this is just kind of like a bean class that just stores the sender and the title of an email and of course in real life it would store the contents and other stuff as well. Now I'm just going to right click here and go to source override implement methods. Uh, actually that's not the one I want. The one I want is source and generate getters and setters. So I'll generate getters and setters for these values and I'll also, let's right click here and go to source generate constructors um, where are we source uh, I want to generate a constructor automatically so generate constructor using fields and I'll take those two and there we go um, so there is my constructor and actually I'll move this to the top and I'll just format this with control shift F so this is just kind of like a really simple bean class that can store um, bits of data and in my main activity now, I'm going to um, imagine that I'm going to get a list of emails from somewhere. So let's let's actually um, have a method here called um, let's call it something like set up um, email list, and I'll call that from on create, and I'll just implement that method here. And imagine, let's imagine, um, to keep things simple, that we've we've got this list of messages from somewhere. So for the moment, I'll just cre create some messages here. So let's say list message. So I'm just using Java util list here to store some messages, and I'll call this messages equals new um, array list of messages like this. And let's add a few messages from this list to, to this list. So I'll have a comment here saying um, retrieve these messages from somewhere. And in reality here, I'm just going to make them up. So let's say messages dot add new message. And for the constructor, I supply first a sender. So let's say um, Bob Smith. And the title: uh, My um, cat has gone missing. And I'll just have like um, just a few more of those. Let's just see what this error is. Oh yeah, it should be messages to add. So that's okay. Let's just have a few more messages just for testing purposes. So I'll paste in um, a few more of these, and I'll have Bob Smith Sue. Blake, um, let's say Mike Peters and Sarah Rogers. And I'll just have a few different titles here. So um, this could be special offer and um, 
read any good books question mark and um, is the is the canteen on fire question mark typical messages that you get during the day when you're at work um, and now so I want to take these messages and put them in a list using some custom formatting and we'll, we'll, we'll look at some really simple formatting um, in this um, tutorial and then in the next couple of tutorials uh, we're going to look at styling this list and we're going to look at using icons in this list as well so I'll break this up into a few separate tutorials and here we'll just really deal with the code part more than anything rather than the, the formatting um, too much so um, let's um, create for this now I, I need um, I need I've got a list well I'm, actually I haven't got a list yet so let's do that let's create a list so um, at the moment I've got this hello world application and it's just got a text view in it and I'm going to replace this text view here with a list view like this and the list view doesn't need um, here it doesn't need too many fields to get it started I just need um, I need an ID for it so let's say ID and I'll, I'll call the ID um, email list and I'll give it a layout width of match parent and I'll give it a layout height of wrap contents wrap content so it's just high enough to display the items in it and then in my main activity I can I can get a handle to that list by saying list view list view equals and I just use find view by ID r dot ID dot email list and that will get me a handle to my list now um, to um, to transform these items into something that I can put in a list I need to use some kind of adapter and we, we've seen array adapter so far which can just take um, it can take any kind of item basically um, as long as that item has a two string method it can take that and display it in its list but if you want to display um, something a bit more fancy than just a bunch of strings in your list like here I want to display at least two strings for each item and later on we want to add a icon as well then you need to create your own adapter and the function of the adapter is to um, basically change these these uh, these objects into items in your list so let, let's create an adapter here I'm going to right click and go to new class and I'll call this um, message adapter because it's going to adapt messages into list items and I'll say that this um, extends base adapter let's get rid of this main method which I keep putting in by accident and I'm going to make it implement so implements uh, list adapter so list adapter has a whole bunch of methods but some of them are implemented by base adapter here so I'll make use of that and having added those imports there I'll now click this message and go to add unimplemented methods and now all we have to do now is implement these methods basically so I'm gonna give this a constructor let's give it a constructor public um, well I'll, I'll create a place to store the list of messages in this list adapter so I'll say private list message and let's call this messages and now I can create a constructor here that expects a list of messages so I can go to right click source generate constructor using fields and just use message here so here's my um, constructor and uh, I, I, I don't need to pass the list of messages in from somewhere else I could have this message adapter actually get the messages itself but for the moment for this tutorial I'll just pass them in when I, when I create it so now back in the main activity here I've got my list of messages and I can create my adapter I can say message 
message adapter adapter equals new message adapter and I can pass in my messages like this and then after I get my list I can say list view dot set adapter and pass in the adapter and uh, at this point later on I, I can now say um, handle um, uh, on item click but uh, I won't do that in this tutorial um, because we've seen how to handle um, item clicks before what I'll do now is I'll just handle the formatting of these objects in the list so I've created my custom adapter and I've told the list to use that adapter and now I need to do a bit more work on this and the custom adapter this should be called messages actually just at the moment just stores a reference to my list of messages that I pass in from outside now to actually uh, format these messages I'm going to have to create some custom XML but before we do that let's already handle the uh, methods that we can so um, get count here um, that's going to return a number of messages which is going to be just messages dot size so that's pretty simple that's just the number of uh, items in my list and um, get item is going to have it this should return the actual item so from the list so I can say here return messages dot get and position that's pretty simple I'm just returning stuff from this array list of messages here get item ID um, you don't really have to implement this and I think array list adapter actually uh, if you use strings will just return minus one but usually you do want to have an ID for each of the items in your list so let's here give it an ID I'll say private int ID and um, I'll say I'll right click here and go to source override uh, go to source generate const, generate um, getters and setters there we go and I'll generate a get, getter and setter for ID so just get ID and set ID and in main activity well actually let's go to message again and let's ha also have int ID here and say this dot ID equals ID in the constructor and um, actually maybe it's nicer if I have the ID which is in a way the most important but also a very short field as the first argument in the constructor and then I can say when I create the messages I can give each one an ID so let's just say naught um, one and two and three so each message now has an ID as well as a sender and a title and in my message adapter now I can say here return messages um, well let's get the um, yeah actually that should work messages dot get position dot get ID so I'm just returning the ID of each message and as I say you don't really have to implement that it's, it's not vital um, just implement it if you want to use it basically and usually you do want to use it because in on click you probably want to get the ID of an object in your list rather than any text that the user sees so um, and now finally we've got this get view and this is where the interesting stuff happens and what we need to return here is some kind of a is, is a kind of list um, item view that represents the items in the list it will represent a particular item in the list given by this position and I need to create some XML that will format the list item and as I say we're going to look on we're going to look at um, colors and icons in the uh, next and subsequent tutorials but here I'm just concerned with arranging the um, text on screen in a kind of pleasing fashion so I'm going to go to layout here and I'm going to go to right click I'm going to right click and go to new Android XML file and I'm going to say that I want to create an XML layout here based on linear layout for the moment and I'm going to call this uh, message let's call it list message item something like that 
and click finish. Now let's take a look at that XML. So I'll look at the raw kind of view rather than this designer, which I'm not too keen on. And so we've got a linear layout base tag there. And now I'm going to just put for the moment two text views in here that are going to represent the sender and the message title. And I just want to put those underneath each other. So um, I think uh, what I'll do is, um, well, I'm actually, I'll keep this uh, vertical linear layout, but I'll change it to horizontal. And what I have in mind is that I'm going to end up with the an icon on the left and then on the right two um, bits of text, the sender and the title underneath each other. Um, so I'm, this is going to be more complicated than it needs to be just for the moment. But I'm going to nest another linear layout in here with a, I'll say layout.width for the moment equals match parent and layout dot the layout height is going to be um, wrap content and the orientation here is going to be vertical. So, um, and I could I could already actually put a image view in here. So I'm going to have an image view here that's going to hold an icon ultimately. But uh, for the moment, I'm not going to use anything in that image view. So uh, I think I, can, I think I'm allowed just to have a kind of blank one as a placeholder. So I'll leave that there for the moment. And um, in this vertical linear layout, I'm going to have two text views. So my first text view here, let's give this the ID of um, uh, title like this. So maybe I'll call it list title or list um, message messages, list message title. That's a good idea. And uh, I'll say that this, um, the width of it is going to be, so layout width is going to be match parent, let's say for the moment, and the layout height, wrap content. And uh, you can sort of fiddle with all this stuff later, of course. Uh, and just for the moment, although we're going to replace this in subsequent tutorials, I'm going to specify a text color. Um, just so we can kind of see something um, happening. I'm going to say text color and let's say that the text color is going to be uh, here I can hard code a color which isn't really good practice but I will just for the moment and you can specify colors using you type a hash and then you have a six digit or um, eight digit if you want to specify transparency but um, for um, non-transparent colors, just a six digit hexadecimal value. And um, the way it works is the first two numbers are red, which I'll set at zero, zero, and then green, for which I'll have FF, and blue, which I'll set to zero, zero again. So this is going to be kind of ugly coloring, but I just want to demonstrate this working. And I'll also set the background here, and let's set that to black, so zero, 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 zero. And I'll set the text size here as well. And let's set this to maybe, um, I don't know, let's try 16 um, device independent pixels, 16 dB, DP. And I'll copy that and I'll have another one of those underneath within this. Um, actually, yeah, I want to set this, uh, yeah, this in a, in a linear layout and set to vertical. So these are going to be underneath each other here. And um, I'm going to set the layout, the text size here to 14, maybe. And I'll leave the other things the same, and we'll see how that looks. So the bottom line is, I've got um, just some um, layout XML. And I've got, um, at the moment, an image uh, view that I'm not doing anything with for the moment. And I've got a couple of text views, one underneath the other here, for the title and the sender. So I'm going to give this an ID here of list message sender. Now uh, in my message adapter here, for each item I need to get uh, for a start the um, XML width that I want to turn into the list item. And to do that um, I'm going to need, um, well it will help 
if uh, I pass to my constructor the activity that I'm calling it from. Let's um, activities implement the context interface. So I'm going to say context context here, um, and we'll see why in just a minute. And here I'll say private context context, and here I'll say this dot context equals context. So we're just storing a reference to the context from the constructor. And back in main activity now, I can pass in this context because um, activities implement that context interface. And in my adapter now, because I've got a reference to the context, I can now use that to get the XML layout by saying context dot get um, get resource. Um, Oh yeah, come to think of it, um, I, I won't get the XML directly, but I, I do need this because I need to say um, context.get system service and then context dot uh, layout inflator service. Because what I need here is I need an inflator service object which is capable of um, finding my XML and turning it into a list item. So here I'll say layout inflator um, inflator equals and we'll cast the return type of get system service to um, to lay out inflator and I'll add the import there and save that so if, if I expand this now so we're just using the context um, the um, you could call get system service directly if you were just if you're in an activity but we're not here so I had to pass the activity in as this context and call pass context.layoutinflator service and that will get you a layout inflator and you can then say inflator.inflate and here I can pass in the ID of my XML which is going to be r.id r.layout sorry dot um, and um, let's, let's take a look at where I put that actually let's just comment this out save everything and so I've got this list message item and it's got an error on it actually um, so let's have a look at this error and string types not allowed here um, oh yeah what I did wrong was I've got a let's just cut this because I need to say here I'll use the, the autocomplete and I need to say at plus id slash and then the id like that so let's just copy that and paste it into here as well and save that. So your ID for your XML won't be generated uh, in R.Java until you've got rid of any syntax errors in it and that's the problem that I was having there. So um, now I've done that, now I can say inflator in my uh, message adapter here I can use the inflator to say R.layout. here we go, list message item and that refers to my XML there and for the root I'll just pass null here and this returns a view so if I hover over inflate here it returns a view object so I can say view view uh, view equals uh, inflate dot inflate and then I can return the view and that's going to return me um, basically the inflated version the kind of list item view version of my XML um, now there's just one little more thing that I want to do here um, just to get this working as a minimal kind of example which is I want to say um, in the view I, I want to get my actual text uh, items so that I can set the message sender and the message subject in it so here um, get view is going to be called by the system and it's going to pass in the position of the item to display and I can now say message, um, which is the uh, message object that I defined, the message class, message message equals, and I've got my list of messages up here, which I could also just be retrieving dynamically inside this adapter. And I can say messages dot get because it's an array list, and pass in the position. So I've got my I've got the message now that I want to display and I can say like string 
title equals message dot get title because I implemented this get title message in uh, here and I can say string sender equals message dot get sender because I implemented that method in message as well and now I can say in here text text view um, title view equals and I want to find the text view here I want to find um, this text view the sender text view within this layout and this layout has been inflated into this view by the inflator which is kind of a list item view so I can say view which is the actual um, view of this particular item view dot um, view dot find view by ID and I can pass in the ID or dot ID dot of the um, message title in this case yeah because this is the title view here and I need to cast the return type of that to a text view and add the import for text view like that and there we go and it's a, it's a text view of course because that's what I'm finding here it's a text view and I'll do the same again for my um, my message subject and um, I appreciate that this is a hell of a lot of stuff to take in uh, and I'm going through a complete example from scratch here so that because I figured if I built on previous tutorials and um, there's even more chance that I'm gonna lose you here but this is going to be a fairly self-contained example that you can look at um, again if you need to so I've got the I've got the title there and now I need the sender um, so the idea of that is list message sender and let's call this sender view and now finally so I've got those two text views and now I can say title view title view dot set text and I can pass in the title that I got from my message and sender view dot set text and I can pass in the sender that I got from my message my message list now if I've got all this right um, this might actually work so let's run this click run and to quickly review what I've done is so I had a list of messages that I got from somewhere and in this case I just uh, hard coded them myself just for this example and I created a custom message adapter and I told my list view to use that adapter and the list view of course is defined in my main activity layout and then the message adapter itself implements base it implements list adapter and extends the base adapter class and um, I passed I passed in my list of messages but I could have gotten them in the adapter itself and um, uh, most of these methods were almost intuitive to implement and the get view is the tricky one and that's where you need to get a layout inflator using a reference to your activity which you can pass in and then inflate your XML and then find the relevant bits that you want to change here for the particular item in your list item XML um, and then just return it and your list item XML is just something that formats one single item in your list now um, I think I've got an error there so it says um, sorry and um, that it's stopped and you see there's red text down here so I've done something slightly wrong and I'm going to go to the top of this red text here and um, let's take a look you must supply a layout width uh, attribute on line 7 in my in my XML and I think in fact what I've done here is um, let's go to my list XML I suspect that line 7 is in fact this dummy image view that I put in here let's um, actually just get rid of that for the moment and I'll implement it later although this um, as it says that nested layout is useless without having something else there but let's just run that because I just want to get this working for the moment so I click run and take a look at the console and it says starting activity and uh, now finally we've got our custom list items and we could add an on item click listener there now uh, you'll notice firstly that they well they don't look all that great they've just got green text 
and my um, list um, my list message item .xml that formats these items it's got hard coded colors in it which isn't good and they also don't seem to respond when you click on them and we're going to fix all those things in the next tutorial although for many purposes this would probably be enough for you but what we're going to do is we're going to add an icon and we're going to format these um, uh, messages a little bit more and I'm going to make them flash when you click on them as well so um, that's more than enough for this tutorial and I, I hope I didn't lose you too much there and uh, of course you can go through it again and if you type this stuff out for yourself um, believe me it will start to make a lot more sense than if you're just looking at it in a video so um, that's it for this tutorial and until next time happy coding